Hey, welcome back to my channel. Today we have a special guest, but today I'm gonna to be showing you all the stuff that I bought on my birthday because I bought quite a bit of stuff because I, ju I just love to spend my money, like I don't know. Okay, so wait, before that, let me complain for a second because actually I got something to tell you. So tomorrow, right, I take my anatomy exam like my final right except the final is a standardized exam like it's like the department of anatomy and physiology is giving us the exam but and it's worth 10% of our grade and so like we don't really know what's going to be on it and my professor has been like there's going to be like inevitably going to be stuff on there that we didn't go over in class so they're going to curve it but like everybody is flopping like ev like everybody who I've spoken to who has taken the exam has been like there has been nothing that we learned on it and then it's like how much sense does that because okay even then like and because it, it's like what what do you even study if it's a standardized exam right so my professor gives us this like outline like it's going to be this many questions about this and I'm looking at it and it's like six questions on chemistry six questions on chemistry like what <laughs> I'm just so irked because like how am I taking a final that hasn't been made by any professor that's following the curriculum of this school like what type of sense does that make like I'm really irritated but whatever anyway let's get into the things that I bought because that that's that's why we're here okay so the first place I went is the the thrift store that I'm always going to not the not the one at the mall the other one the one down in center city <laughs> So, what did I buy? Oh, let me show you. Okay. Okay. I, well, well, well the, the, my favorite thing that I bought are, what are you doing? My, the, my favorite thing that I bought is this pair of pants, right? They're these brown corduroy flared jeans and they got that little seam in the middle and they're low rise but they're like the perfect type of low rise like they sit right on the hip and whatnot and they're very very cute and i love them except the zipper is broken i i mean like i fixed it when i was in the store and then i wore them and it that bitch was broken i was like okay well i done already bought them I have to figure something out but I think they're so freaking cute and they got these little pockets and the pockets actually work and they fit so nicely I'm just I'm I'm in love I really love them okay next I don't know where that cat went oh my god he probably off doing something he's not supposed to be doing okay anyway <laughs> I bought this is just like a plain white blouse I have I have a cropped one and then I have one, it, but I think, if I remember correctly, it was like one of my old school shirts. Like it's one I wear under like a sweater vest or like um, if I want to layer, I wear it. But I just, I kind of wanted a blouse that I could just like have as a basic. Um, so I bought this one. It's like cotton though. And the other one I have is like almost like a school shirt, like that type of material. Like that's, that's not cute. No. Um, and it's it's Ralph Lauren and it's got this little oh you can't even see it let me see you, know, you can kind of see it it's got this little like embroidery work on it and I think it's super cute and yeah I don't know I thought it was cute I wonder if he is hi what else did I buy while I was there I bought this here shirt Um, this is from J. Crew, and I don't know. I love this little collar. I think this is too cute. I don't know. There's something about this. <laughs> I really like it. I was like, um, I don't really know how I would style it per se, but I'm like, I feel like it's something that's like simple enough that I could style it a multitude of ways. I would just have to find it, you know? But yeah, I thought it was cute. And then the last thing I bought from there was another blouse. <laughs> but this one is red and white striped and it's from H&M, which I always think is funny. Like I always, 
like sometimes i'll be out and i'll be thinking about my outfit and i'll be like oh my god literally everything is from h&m which is crazy because i feel like i no longer go out of my way to just go to h&m but even when i thrift stuff like it's h like i don't i don't know it was because like, i usually look at the tags it was h&m <laughs> but i thought this would be cute for layering and then like another like blouse to just wear but this has that like actual like blouse material that i don't really like so i feel like i would only use this for layering but i have been wanting to do some like more fun stuff with layers because i have like a black sweater vest and i was like i could put that with this like that would be fun you know what i mean and then like i feel like i wear a lot of black I feel like I just sort of like default to, to wearing black and I would like to add some more color into my wardrobe. So yeah, I got it. Okay, then where did I go afterwards? Oh, so, oh my God, I'm so emo about this. So I used, <laughs> so I thrifted this hoodie, right? It was, I, I feel like I've worn it over your house before, but it's, it's so like, you probably don't remember. It was just this gray hoodie that I, can, can you stop? Why he scratching my walls? What are you doing? Okay. It was this um, gray men's hoodie that I thrifted. It was like an extra large and like men's stuff always is just better quality. And it was just, I don't even know how to describe it. Like it was nicely oversized. It was the best quality. It was so comfortable. I just like lived in that hoodie, right? And I freaking lost it. And I don't understand how I did. How do you lose a hoodie? How do you lose a hoodie? And I lost it in my house. Like I... <laughs> Like, I know it's in my house somewhere, but I can't find it. And I was, like, losing my mind without it because I wear it every day. Like, it, it's just, you know how, like, I'm always cold. Like, I always have to have something on me. So I lost it. And then I, I was like, well, it probably just got mixed up with somebody else's laundry. Like, it'll show up. It'll show up. But it hasn't shown up. So I was like, let me get a new hoodie. So there's a brandy down there. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I got a new hoodie. <laughs> this is just a i don't know like a cream hoodie they're they're very big i feel like brandy does oversized stuff really nicely i feel like it's not as i don't like it as much as the hoodie that i used to have but it's it's not that serious i just wanted a new big hoodie to live in so yeah and what are you, what are you doing you just don't act right okay then i went to urban and let me tell you something if I hadn't gone down there with the sole, um, what, with the sole motive of spending my money, I would have walked right out because I knew Urban was expensive. But I was looking at the price tags like, oh, oh, this is this is expensive, expensive. Like, but anyway, because the first thing I bought was this, and then no, because when I saw it, when I first saw these being like um, advertised. I, th I feel like they were cropped I think there's like a cropped version of this sweater or something like that looks really similar to this and they had the the cropped versions on and then they had like a cropped uh blouse on with like the collar sticking out and then they had them with like a sort of like miu miu type of plaid mini skirt it was the cutest thing in the world and I love well that was the first time I've ever been in an Urban Outfitters but this time I saw this one and I was like oh like I think this that this would be cute for layering I feel like when I look at something like this I think of I don't I don't know what you would call this specific style but I feel like this is something I would wear with like a bunch of other different colors and whatnot like I feel like I feel like there's a lot I can do with this like I'm just wearing it with like brown pants right now but I feel like there's there's a lot that can be done here right right and then i bought I, I saw this on the website it's this brown corduroy mini skirt very cute i don't know if this pocket i don't know if this is a, oh, it is a real pocket oh wow i can put my hand in there wow okay <laughs> and it's got that like thick belt to it um i i i've been wanting like a mini skirt for a while and i really want a denim one i don't have a denim one but i was like this will do and i i like it but it's like it's kind of stiff in a way like i don't know how to describe it and i was like well maybe if i wear it a few times it'll feel a little more but i feel like corduroy is just like a weird like material like i feel like i don't know but i still really like it very cute I was like, I, I could see it with like, like imagine this and like some black tights and some knee high boots and a turtleneck, like, ugh, that, that just looked so good to me. I don't know. I don't know. 
but yeah. <laughs> okay. And then what else did I buy? Oh my god. Look at oh oh my god, it's inside out. Hold on. <laughs> then I got this here shirt. Isn't this adorable? I I love it. Look how cute. Look how cute. Now I don't listen. I don't want to tell you how much this shirt costs. <laughs> I don't want to tell you how much this shirt costs because I was in that dressing room gagged. Like, oh my God. Like, uh, it was bad. But this is, I feel like this is so cute, right? And then on the, on the mannequin, there was a matching denim skirt. And like on the bottom, there were fringes with the same sort of like Mitch match patterns like this. And it was the cutest thing ever. And I was going to buy the skirt, but then I was thinking like, I feel like denim skirts wouldn't look good on me. Like just, just like a maxi, no, not a maxi skirt. Just like it was a denim maxi skirt and it was like really long, you know, I feel like I don't know I feel like I'm so short like I feel like that just wouldn't I don't know I was sort of like like I feel like I'd buy it because I want to wear it with this but like outside of wearing it with this I would not wear that shit <laughs> so I didn't buy it but this is too cute to me like I don't know I love it I love it and it's like it's cut it, it's, the, it's the strangest material it's cotton but it doesn't feel like cotton like I don't I don't know but I love it and then I bought this here dress i've been kind of wanting something like this because i see people take things like this and then they put like really cute blouses with like those ruffly sleeves you know those sleeves and they kind of like like their bottoms are around i'm not doing a good job at explaining it but like their their the bottoms are rounded and whatnot and they sort of like come out like that like i think that's so cute and i have a blouse that's kind of like that and this has like um these two long things coming out of it and you can like tie it into a bow like a fruity vampire and i was like oh that'd be so cute with this now where am i gonna wear this hat i don't know i don't know i need to i need to go out more like it's bad like i'd be buying clothes i'd be like where am i gonna go in this and the answer be nowhere i don't be going anywhere that's the problem wow okay anyway i thought it was cute so i bought it ah, okay and it was it was twenty dollars because it was on sale so yeah and then I went online shopping and I bought myself a Jujutsu Kaisen shirt and then all the all the characters are on the back very cute right right yeah so yeah those are all the things that I bought for my birthday I'm trying to see if there's anything else I want to tell you about I think I just wanted to complain about that exam like that like it, I'm still not like I just <laughs> Imagine you taking an exam and some professor from another university who's never met you before made it. And 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 you're like, okay, well, what's on the exam? And they're talking about, oh, it's going to be five math questions. <laughs> what? Like, what? I, I just don't get it. It's also at eight in the morning. Oh, I remember what I want to tell you. So I have an 85 in anatomy right now, right? An 85. And this is a terrible way to think about it. But I was like, okay, if I have an 85, that means I can lose five points off of my overall grade and still have a B in the class, right? Now to lose five overall points, especially because my other exams are out of like 160 some points, like those are hefty exams. But this one is only 43 questions. So I don't know how he's going to weigh them out, question mark. But I was like, either way, like, Let's assume, like, what's the worst I can possibly do on this exam and still get a B in the class? And I put it in one of those, like, calculator things. It's talking about you only need a 35 to keep your B. Um, it's looking like I'm not going to study because, <laughs> because, like, what, like, <laughs> if you needed a 35 to keep a, a, a certain grade in your class and you were fine with your grade, like, would you study? Because I'm really, like, I just kind of want to lay down. You know what I mean? And then, so my anatomy exam is at 8 in the morning. And then, and you only get 45 minutes. To, you, it's 43 questions. And you get 45 minutes to do it. Which isn't as insane as it sounds. But, um, then I have a French exam at like 3 o'clock. So I'm like, I'm not going to study for French. One, because I took three years of French in high school. I know how to speak French. And two, I'm going to have all that damn time to study. So what's the point? So, I don't know. I may go to the gym. I don't know. 
whatever anyway when you come back we need to go to texas <laughs> I don't know what it is. I just want those rolls so badly. I want the rolls so bad. Hold on. You said you come back on the 18th. I might work on the 18th. Oh my god. What's the 18th? Oh, they probably got me working then. Okay. We gonna figure something out. You know what? We gonna figure something out. Okay. Bye. Hold on, because I ain't show you everything. Sorry. Okay, so I bought these i think i don't remember if i showed you when i bought them but i bought these leather jackets uh literally almost two years ago i'm pretty sure it was a hot minute ago so i bought them but i thrifted them and i was like i really want to get these clean before i wear them like any clothes that i any any clothes that i buy in general i'll wear before i I'll, I'll wash before I wear it not but not just like thrifted clothes but especially thrifted clothes like <laughs> I make sure to wash them shit so I bought so I bought them right for like $20 and then I take them to the cleaners and they're like oh like we don't clean leather here like we have to ship them out to somebody and it's gonna be like $60 each jacket and I was like oh okay that's cute and um but I was like, I, I feel like I can't justify that right now. But now I kind of can. So I finally got them cleaned. So this one is just a leather blazer. It's got like those shoulder pads in them. I think it's quite cute. It's kind of thin though. But yeah, this one, however, is the main event. Look at this jacket. <laughs> Wait, look at the back. Love 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 i don't know i'm obsessed i think it's great okay that was everything bye